Have you ever applied for a credit card or tried to buy a car or house and was turned down? Have you ever tried to borrow money from a friend and they wouldn't loan it to you? Or on the flip side, have you ever tried to borrow money from a friend or finance a car or buy a home and you were able to get it with no problem because you had good credit? But do we even know what credit is? I like to give credit a simple definition, one that we'll all be able to understand so we'll be able to get the most out of it. And that definition of credit is a simple word called trust. If you want to buy a home or rent a home or buy a car, they have to believe that you would keep your word and make the payments. If you had a friend that came by and wanted to borrow some money from you and you loaned it to them and they paid you back, just like they said they would at the time that they said they'd pay it, you know, you would, you would think that friend uh, was trustworthy. But if you gave that friend a loan and that friend was supposed to pay you back on Friday and it's still Friday night, 10 years later, you wouldn't trust that friend enough to loan him any money again. Well, today I just want to talk about three types of credit. We're familiar with the first one, and I call that credit institutional credit. Institutional credit is what we use every day, you know, credit cards, uh, bank loans, you know, financing a house car, uh, things that we need. We use it all the time. We use it for all the stuff that we need. We, you know, sometimes we absolutely just use it, you know, wastefully, I think. Uh, we shouldn't have a lot of consumer credit, I don't believe. But this is how most people do. And this is the only credit most people know about. Most people only know about institutional credit. You know, uh, that means that you have some institution that trusts you and believe that if they gave you the loan or they gave you the car, that you would make the payment and you would make it on time. But there's a greater credit than institutional credit. Most of us, we will step over other people to just say, hey, I'm this guy. I got an 800 credit score or whatever. We think we're so great and we just forget about our higher credit. And this higher credit is called people credit. Took me years to understand this. We understand institutions that trust us, but do people trust you? Are you a person of your word? Are you a person of character? If you said you do something, do you do it? If you borrowed money from somebody, do you pay it back? People credit is greater than institutional credit. There are people that don't have credit scores high enough to get things from institutions, but they have a network of friends or, or relatives or associates that they can go to for all kinds of things. When you have people credit, you may go to a town and not even have to live in a hotel because you have good friends with great homes that where their doors are always welcome to you. If you have good people credit, you may have people that you never know. You may need a kidney and somebody trusts you enough and they love you enough, care about you enough, they'll give you a kidney. Now, we're not trying to say that you want to take things from people, but we are trying to say how important it is that you are valuable to other people. See, we'll work a job and we'll, we'll, we'll do all kinds of things to pay our bills, but we will look past our brother. We will look past our sister. We will look past our mothers, our fathers, our brothers, our sisters. We'll look past our coworkers, our church, our pastor, our our friends, we'll look past everybody else trying to get what we want. But God, in his infinite wisdom, he did something spectacular. He put everything that we need inside of people. By the way, an institution is only a group of people. You know, if you tick the wrong person off at the bank, you may not get that loan. We're not saying that you want to just try and step over and misuse and get anything from people. But what I am saying is that we got to look at the resource of people. Can people trust you? I know the bank trusts you. You got a high credit score. But what do your neighbor think about you? What does your wife think about you? What do your children think about you? Are you trustworthy to them? You never know what you may need or when you may need it. And behold, people credit is a powerful, powerful thing to have. 
But there's a higher credit than people credit. And that credit is God credit. Can God trust you? Can God trust you to do what's right even when no one else is around? You know, our reputation is what people think we are. But what we really are is what we are when no one else is watching. See, when people can't see you and when institutions can't see you, God can. He holds the heart of the king. That's the people. He holds the heart of the institutions. This world belongs to him. All good things, the real good things, come from God. And can God trust you with good things? Some people, they'll say, God bless me with this, God bless me with that. And God is the last thing on their mind. They don't respect his they don't respect what he says. They don't care how they live, but they just want something from him like God's a genie or something. Oh, no. But if God is as powerful as we believe he is, then why wouldn't we want God to trust us? God asked the devil, say, have you considered my servant Job? I believe God trusted him. So in all you're doing, in everything that you're thinking, it's no good in your life if you don't have God credit. So just to recap, here's three types of credit. There's institutional credit. We're all familiar with that. There's people credit, which I think we all overlook. And there's God credit, where I think most of us never even consider. I talk about that type of thing in my book, um, How to Stop Being Poor before trying to get rich. It's a lot of things that we don't think about. We don't think about the value that we add to the world. We don't think about uh, how people see us, how God see us, not in the way that we think about how institutions see us. I just wanted to tell you about my book again. It's at amazon.com. It's called How to Stop Being Poor Before Trying to Get Rich. And if you know me personally, you can buy it from me. I keep copies myself and you won't have to pay for shipping. I think we have to learn how to be valuable to the world around us. We have to stop thinking about what we can take and think more about what we can give. Trust is a thing that is hard to regain once it's lost. We want to hold on to our integrity. And what we want to do, we want to keep our word. We want to be valuable to everybody around us. So people will trust us. Inst not only just institutions, everyone would trust us. And not trust us for any other reason than the fact that we're trustworthy. And we want God to trust us as well. I'm Marcus V. Brown. And I want you to go out there and remember these three types of credit. Institutional. We know about that. People credit. We don't think about that. And God credit. Use those credits, use all three of those credits to make your life better and go out there and live your best life. I'm Marcus V. Brown. Thank you for listening.